Yo, what's cracking, mates? Here is a condensed guide in order to get Eclipse working in conjunction with Ghidra, so you can finally start writing your Java stuff in an IDE like a proper human. I made it, cause I'm going to release additional videos about the Ghidra tooling around my WoW Wattlock repository, and I already can smell all the desperate fear questions, which will certainly flood in, because, to be honest, the setup is a huge fucking mess. The official documentation is lacking in my opinion, and most articles you can find online via Google, as well as answers from ChatGPT, are borderline garbage. There was but a single article from Melware.news, which was helpful enough and got me over the finish line a few months ago. It still took me like 5 hours to record this video, even though I already did it once in the past, and I really do hope that this video spares you the same cursed fate. Well, anyway, let's get going and dive in. First things first, we have to talk about the JDK version. One reason why the recording took so long was that I had an unsupported JDK version in use. In my case, I was running version 22 in the demonstration VM, which resulted in scripts being unable to be executed, with an error message talking about classes not being able to be located. On my real machine, on the other hand, I run version 20 just fine. Keep in mind that only because both Ghidra and Eclipse seem to work on the surface level, it doesn't mean everything will work. The supported Java version for your Ghidra can be seen in the installation guide under the section Java notes. Somewhere in that paragraph are hyperlinks, which will lead you to detailed information. In my case of Ghidra 11.03, it's Java 17 which is required and supported. I choose Amazon Coretto as it's an LTS version, but any other Java 17 runtime should be equally valid. Now that this is cleared, let's get our hands on the actual setup. When you download Ghidra, there is a folder called extensions in its root directory. In there is a subsection for Eclipse, which lists Ghidra dev, the plugin we are interested in. In order to install, you simply have to open the help menu in Eclipse and choose the option to install new software. In the pop-up you click on add in the top right corner and choose archive in the follow-up dialog. Open the folder I have just shown you before and pick the zip file in there. Then check the Ghidra entry in the list and click next. Afterwards you have to accept the license agreement, trust unsigned artifacts, let Eclipse restart and then consent for it to open ports in order to be able to communicate with Ghidra. Once that's done, you should have a new menu entry for Ghidra Dev, where you can link your Ghidra installation path under preferences. Part 1 is done. Now hop back to Ghidra and open the script manager. In order to test out the new functionality, as well as taking advantage of things happening automatically, we create a new Hello World script. As you can see in the follow-up dialog, a new folder has been created for our Ghidra scripts and it has been enabled for use. I edit the script in order to print a simple message and if everything has gone right, it should actually do so when executing. Click on the Edit Script with Eclipse icon, which triggers a pop-up in the running Eclipse session. This will ask you to create a new Ghidra script project with all the necessary and correct default values. Since I do not care for Python support, I simply ignore that part. I assume it will be pretty much the same, but it's not covered here. The first time you launch, you can brace yourself for some nice leg spikes, since it will build the entire project. Testing the script by adding another line, you can already see IDE features like auto-completion and so on in action. Here I wanna mention that launching your script is usually not done within Eclipse, even though there is a new Ghidra option available. This new option provided by the plugin will launch a new Ghidra instance, which is certainly not what you want in pretty much all cases. The linked home scripts folder is where custom Ghidra scripts can be found, and be advised that Ghidra will only offer you classes from the default package in the script manager. If you so desire, you still can organize at least your utility classes in packages. I myself use Eclipse just for the IDE features like formatting and autocompletion, and launching the scripts is done via the script manager in Ghidra. 
The best way to write your first useful script is to look at other people's work and tastefully stealing parts, as well as looking at the online Java doc for Ghidra classes, whilst read up following references within Eclipse. In the beginning, I tried asking ChatGPT for both inspirations as well as answers for a lot of Ghidra script related things, but for me it turned out that the quality was certainly lacking or it returned straight up hallucinations. Your mileage may vary though, give it a go yourself, maybe they have improved since then. Like mentioned in the very beginning, there will be a follow-up video where I talk about Ghidra scripts written by me, which will also be available in my Git repository. It's mostly about importing and exporting functions from and to Ada Pro, as well as multi-threaded shenanigans related to decompilation. Stay tuned and best of luck to you and your Ghidra script adventures. See ya!